Bye. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Look, look, it's going to be drinking. Look, look, it's going to be smoking. Look, look, it's going to be swearing. Look, look, you've been warned. So look, look, here I come. In three, two, one. Bye. Welcome, everybody. Black, white, gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, Jew. Welcome. My name is Shamar Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, the greatest show on earth. The greatest show. In the world. Bye, greatest show in the day on multiverse. We have a great show for you today. <laughs> greatest of the day on multiverse. Na 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 na. All right, guys. Seriously though, we have a great show today. <laughs> and it's, of course, we do. It's great. It's the greatest of the multiverse. Okay, guys. So look, <clears throat> Cardano partners with lending platform Nexo. Bye. We're gonna talk about that. Oh, okay. So I am in. So India crypto regs. Uh, talked about the finance minister. So we're going to hear from the finance minister. You guys know about the shit storm we've been going through with India just to fucking get their crypto stuff right. So we're going to talk about that. And then Stellar. Uh, Stellar's Development Foundation has joined an association of U Ukrainian banks. Now, the reason I bring this up is I really don't give a fuck about when you know little crypto companies join this association or that thing because... Half the time, those don't do anything. It's just a, a talking platform. But because we read yesterday that Ukraine's banks are now giving crypto, I figure this is appropriate. So we're going to talk about this one. And then we're going to do the shout outs and daily summary as usual. So let's proceed how we proceed with a whoops. Bah! There we go. Let me head on over here and we do a little bit of bah! We do a little bit of refresh. Little bit of refresh. All right, let's check it out. Price of Bitcoin, $32,472. When I left you yesterday, we're at $32,845. We've gone down. $373. All right. All right, top 10 of the day, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Look, settle down. Let me do this first. All right. Top 10 of the day, folks. Usual suspects. Top 10. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, Binance Coin, Cardano, XRP, Dogecoin, USD Coin, Polkadot, and Uniswap. Let's see what the market moves of the day are. Yeah. Looks like a bunch of single digits down from these parts. Dang, got it. Single digits down. Single digits down. Single digits down. Well, let me get a sip. Fuck. <laughs> Single digits down. Well, there's a single digits up. U.S. said Leo. Bucking the trend. But, all right. So, single digits up, single digits down. Single digits up, single digits down. Let's single this up, single this down too. Single this up, to single this down. All right. It's you lost money today. You see anything on here you like? Go get it. Bye. Because it's on sale. Looks like everything's on single digit sale today. Let's check it out. Bye. Well, there's some bigger ones. All right. Top 10 losers Decentraland, Engine Coin, Axie Infinity, uh, Thorchain, Decred, <clears throat> uh, Internet Computer. Um, Curve DAO token synthetics waves and telcoin. Let's see who made money today. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> five people, five of them made money, and the rest are fucking. Uh, what do you call these stable coins? All right, let's see who made money today. Una said Leo, Q coin token, Ox, Theta Fuel, Revein. And let's get to the I guess the least losers, which are a bunch of these stable coins. True USD, Terra USD, USD Coin, Paxo Standard, and Binance USD. All right. Let's see what the total market cap is. Huh? All right. Total market cap is $1.349 trillion. When I left yesterday, we were at $1.384 trillion. So we've gone down 0 0.035 trillion. All right. Let's see what the 24 hour volume is. 
All right, 24-hour volume is $77.7 billion. When I left yesterday, we're at $81.4 billion. So we've gone down. Uh, let's just call that $4 billion and keep it moving. Look, look. All right, let's get to the stories. Bang, Cardano partners with crypto lending player Nexo. Uh, actually, Cardano, they're, 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 uh, Hoskinson, he's getting a lot of heat right now. Apparently, he promised, um, you know, that dozens of projects would be launching distributed apps and stuff on Cardano, and it hasn't panned out. So the past couple days, everybody's been, you know, saying like, what the fuck, dog? What the fuck, dog? You, you promised this, and uh, it's not happening. So uh, I'm not dissing Cardano. I mean, I'm a Cardano hodler, but... Uh, I don't know, you know, the patience is wearing thin. <laughs> you guys know me. I juggle shit. I don't give a fuck if your shit's not making money. I'll toss that out and go buy something that is. So I got I'm not, so in full disclosure, I'm going to tell you the truth. As far as my Cardano holdings go, the patience is wearing real thin. It's patience is wearing thin now. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh... You know, nah, that's all I can say about that. All right, so let me get a sip and we will proceed. All right, so look. Oh, so my patience is running thin, Carl Hoskins, Hoskinson. I'll just fucking switch that out for some singularity night and keep it moving, motherfucker. So come on, get something going, buddy. I got a talking robot I can invest in. <laughs> All right, guys. Global blockchain engineering company and developer team behind the Cardano ADA blockchain. Input Output Hong Kong <clears throat> partnered up with a cryptocurrency lending platform, Nexo. IOHK keeps announcing strategic partnerships as the crucial Alonjo upgrade that introduced the smart contract functionality to the Cardano blockchain runs its course. Symbiotic relationship. Following Cardano's latest strategic partnership, the new collaboration with Nexo resulted in the full integration of the Cardano blockchain native cryptocurrency into the lending platform. So enabling Cardano holders to buy, borrow, lend, and sell crypto on the Nexo exchange, on the Nexo exchange is set to expand Cardano's utility and reach. According to the Nexo co-founder, Anthony Trenchev, <laughs> blockchain organizations like Nexo and Cardano have a lot to offer each other and their collaboration is of mutual interest. <clears throat> Nexo's business creates added utility for ADA, reducing selling pressure, boosting its value, and creating an influx of users. Exactly. That's why we're reading this. New users will come, including people who might just be starting out in crypto, says Trenchev, stating that, reciprocally, adding Cardano to the lending platform broadens its addressable market and expands existing clients' options when investing. Cardano expansion. In order to expand the Cardano ecosystem, recently IOHK paired up with Orion and Nervos. Decentralized finance liquidity aggregator Orion Protocol integrated Cardano into its trading terminal and enabled Cardano users to buy and sell crypto, boosting its exposure and reach. The collaboration made Orion the first liquidity aggregator on the Cardano blockchain, set to enable the sustainability and scalability of the DeFi and non-fungible token ecosystem on the network. Meanwhile, the collaboration with Chinese public blockchain Nervos marked the first cross-chain bridge for Cardano, set to connect the two networks and allow users to interchangeably transact using respective uh, native cryptocurrencies ADA and CKB, as well as enable them to create new tokens across both blockchains. Despite the dynamic development, IOHK CHO uh, Charles Hoskinson was exposed to recent criticism on Twitter regarding the project not living up to its previous year's projections when he claimed that there would be hundreds of assets, oh, thousands of dApps, and tons of interesting, pro interesting projects on top of the proof-of-stake blockchain. Bang! So there you go. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's what I told you. They, he's been getting a lot of, a lot of shit lately because uh, he said there would be thousands of dApps, uh, hundreds of assets, and that has not panned out. And so... Uh, I'm going to give this guy to the end of the year, but 
If I roll into Q1 next year and shit's like this, look. But anyways, for now, though, Cardano hodlers, bang, this is a good, a good sign. I mean, obviously, the guy, Hoskinson, you know, saying, oh, we're going to get this, we're going to get that. Nobody knows in the business world uh, what's going to happen. And so uh, that's why I'm going to give it a little bit more time, personally. Um, but uh, like I've always said here, I think Cardano is a great, great, great project. Uh, Hoskinson's a mathematician. The other three guys with him are PhDs. So um, uh, it's worth the wait. Juice is worth the squeeze. All right, let's move on. But India's finance minister says crypto bill ready for cabinet. So, um, so why do we care about India so much? Well, one in five people on earth are Indian. One in five people on earth are Chinese. <laughs> you know what I mean? China and India are 40% of Earth's population. And so whatever comes out of India and China, well, we're going to take a real hard look at it. And so, as you guys know, India, <clears throat> um, they banned crypto back in 2018. Then the crypto people, well, they didn't. The central bank banned it. But then the crypto people took the central bank to court and told the judge, well, they took them to the Supreme Court in, in of India, and they told the judge, Your Honor, the central bank is not allowed to ban crypto, right? <laughs> a central bank, that's not their job. Their job is to print money, burn money, and set interest rates. And so, obviously, the judge agreed with that and told the central bank, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to ban crypto. And so, then the banking system um, was given the green light to handle crypto transactions but they were still a little scared because <clears throat> they still there's still no law in India about whether crypto is legal or not. Yes, the judge did say to the central bank, you're not allowed to ban crypto. Yeah, but it doesn't mean the politicians can't. I mean, they're the guys who make the rules. Your politicians in your country obviously are the rule makers, the law writers. And so, okay, and so... So now the banks are dealing with crypto transactions, but there's still a sort of dark cloud in that, like I said, the uh, politicians, the legislators, have not written a law yet saying, yes, this is legal, right? So nobody knows, right, what's going on over there, but people are still pushing through. There's a couple banks in India that offer already banking, crypto banking, crypto services at their bank. And uh, and the truth is, is if India ever just says, all right, all right, fuck, you guys can use and buy and sell crypto. Well, bang, bang, that'll be the greatest. And so the finance minister, everyone's been asking her, you know, like, well, what's up with the crypto? What's up with the crypto? So apparently, so she's come out. Uh... Well, I don't know if it's her, actually. Let, let's read. I actually didn't fully read this thing. I just know what's going on in here, but there's some sort of bill that's ready for the cabinet. You know, obviously, the cabinet, that's the executive branch of your government. And so uh, maybe it's favorable, maybe not. So let's check it out. Let me get a sip first. Yeah, but it's just been a whole shit show in India, right? Um, fuck, you know? And you know what's weird is, you know, India uses blockchain right blockchain so you have to remember that when they talk about cryptocurrencies in india they're talking about the wannabe money stuff bitcoin monero zcash stable coins they don't mind ethereum and stuff like that because you know 19 seaports in india are on the ethereum blockchain right now right we read about that here and so the government of india is using these blockchains obviously uh but I don't know. They just got some problem with, they got the problem with the wannabe money stuff, right? Anything that wants to be money. That's the problem, right? I, we've said this here before. Like, when you call this shit cryptocurrency, well, it makes it sound like they're all money, right? They should just be called digital assets. And within the digital asset space, there's three types of things. There's Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are commodities, there's stable coins and the wannabe money stuff, Monero, Zcash, and all that, privately issued money. And then there's the regular shit, which are just regular companies uh, using a blockchain uh, 
for services, right? AI, Internet of Things, supply chain, stuff like that. But they're real companies, actually, and their blockchains actually, well, their tokens are useful, right? I mean, you use the VThor blockchain tokens to do your VChain transactions. Use the Ethereum to do your Ethereum transactions. So, right? But the problem is, is these countries and the way people talk about it, it's confusing, right? They need to say digital assets, and within the digital asset space, now we have different types of digital assets, right? No country likes the, the word currency. No country wants privately issued money. We did that in the 1700s, right? I've told you this before. America used to have over 500 privately issued monies, currencies before the Civil War. Then the Civil War brought us the good old greenback that we have today. <laughs> but before that, mining companies, railroad companies, uh, fucking their banks used to issue their own money. And so nobody wants to go back to those days again. And so that's why every time people hear about the, the word currency, that's what they're thinking, right? They're not thinking of your V-Chains, your Stellars, your Iotas, you know, your Trons, whatever, right? All right, so let's check it out. Let's check it out. So I think that's enough background there. Plus, we got to hurry up. we got the NBA playoffs coming on now. Look. <laughs> India's finance minister has provided a status update on the country's cryptocurrency bill that the government has been working on. We've done a lot of work on it. We have taken shareholders' inputs, she quoted as saying. Status of Indian crypto bill. Indian finance minister Nirmala Sitharaman has provided a status update on the crypto, on the country's cryptocurrency bill in an inter, in an interview with Business Line published last week. Sith Raman was asked about the status of the cryptocurrency and regulation of official digital currency bill 2020. So that's the name of the bill. The bill is called the Cryptocurrency and Regulation of Official Digital Currency of 2020 and when it is likely to be passed. The Indian Minister of Finance, she replied, we've done a lot of work on it. We've taken stakeholders' inputs. The cabinet note is ready. We have to see when the cabinet can take it up and consider it so that then we can move it. So from our side, I think one of one or two indicators that I have given is that at least for FinTech experiment and pilot project, a window will be available. The cabinet will have to take a decision, she, she clarified. So the bill was originally listed to be introduced during the budget session of Parliament earlier this year, but was not. According to its description on the Parliament's website, the crypto bill aims to create a facilitative framework for the creation of the official digital currency to be issued by the Reserve Bank of India. The bill also seeks to prohibit all private cryptocurrencies in India. However, it allows for certain exceptions that promote the underlying technology of cryptocurrency and its uses. Bang! You see what I'm saying? They want she they want to prohibit all the wannabe money, private cryptocurrencies in India. So the wannabe money stuff, yeah, they're not they're not down with that. But they do want to allow exceptions for companies that because um, let's read it. Certain exceptions to promote underlying technology of cryptocurrency and its uses. So. Something like VeChain, they want to promote that. IOTA, they want to promote that. Stellar, they want to promote that. Uh, right? You see, so they're making the difference, the distinction between the wannabe money stuff, private issued money, which is 17th century shit, except it's all on digital now, but same old shit. We've had that before. This ain't nothing new. And though, but companies that are just using the technology, blockchain, to actually help your country, right? Uh and your businesses, right? All right. So, however, the government has since provided some more information about the bill. The finance minister said in May, there will be a very calibrated position taken. The world is moving fast with technology. We can't pretend we don't want it. In May, the government reportedly set up a panel of experts to re-examine the recommendations within the bill. So, bang! So, there you go. So, a new bill is coming in, but this bill, you can see that they're making the distinction between 
wannabe money, privately issued money, and uh, 17th century shit just on a fancy blockchain and real blockchains that actually service, service business and industry and, and stuff like that. All right. So bye. So there's an update for you guys. You guys who've been here, you know, we've been watching this thing from the beginning. So fingers crossed. Uh, let's see what we get out of this thing. All right. And then finally, bang, Stellar Development Foundation joins Association of Ukrainian Banks. So usually I do not read stories about cryptocurrencies joining, you know, this association or that association or this lobbying group or that lobbying group because most of the time they don't actually end up doing fuck all. Now, the only reason I'm reading this, though, is because obviously the Ukraine that was, as we read yesterday, has opened up their banks uh, to offer crypto. And we read about the one bank yesterday. What was it called? We read about, ah, fuck, I didn't write the name down. But um, they're offering trading in July, which is now. And so by the end of this month, Ukrainian banks will be able to trade crypto. And so obviously Stellar uh, does banking stuff. Well, it's trying to offer banking services. Uh, on the blockchain and so um seeing that ukraine is allowing their banks to offer crypto and stellar is now part of the ukrainian banking association well um well obviously uh stellar's got their foot in the door with the banksters in ukraine and so uh, i expect uh good news out of this thing and so that's why we're reading this one just because of what we read yesterday, right? Like I said, I don't really give a fuck about, oh, this crypto thing, join this association or that one. So what? Uh, those things usually don't do anything. They're usually just, you know, just a talk shop and a place to pad your resume, really, saying you're a member of it. But uh, this one seems legit uh, because what we read the Ukraine banks already. And so that's why we're reading this one. So let's check it out. Stellar Development Foundation, SDF has agreed to join forces with the Association of Ukrainian Banks after getting together with various leaders of financial institutes, virtual assets, and blockchain experts in Ukraine. The latest collaboration with the Association of Ukraine Banks will renew FDF, SDF's relationship with Ukraine as an advisor on matters affecting blockchain technology and virtual assets in the country. More than that, the new partnership will further strengthen the possibility of having a public-private partnership for creating a stable ecosystem for virtual assets in new regions, newer regions. Uh, commenting on the latest development, the president of the Association of Ukraine Banks, Andriy Dubas, said, It is a great honor for the association that SDF has decided to join our community. SDF will help advise on developing a new market sector and the digital economy in Ukraine. Well, of course they're going to advise. They're going to advise that you use Stellar. <laughs> is what the advice is going to be. So look, in the meantime, the partnership over, oh, duh, opens a large door of financial opportunities for both citizens and businesses in Ukraine. At the moment, the Association of Ukrainian Banks now has 45 membership strengths. This makes it possible for the association to connect with large and small financial institutions and banks both on national and multinational levels in a bid to boost the life of Ukraine's financial market. On the other hand, the CEO of Stellar, Stellar Development Foundation, Danielle Dixon, sees the collaboration as a start to what he calls a formal relationship. I thought the CEO of Stellar was a woman now. Anyway. The association's collaborative approach, membership, engagement in legislative activity, and cooperation with the National Bank of Ukraine all demonstrate its great commitment to cultivating healthy innovation for the virtual economy. And see, so these guys are going to be actually active. This is an actual active association. Uh, so that's good. This is not the first time the Stellar Development Foundation will enter into a partnership for a similar purpose. Earlier this year, the SDF signed a memorandum of understanding with Ukraine's Ministry of Digital Transformation to create a virtual asset market. So, bang! So, and that's the other reason I read it, is you can see that Stellar is already going to be used, bang, to create a digital virtual asset market right and so well if you're using them for that you probably use them on your banks right and so uh they're already creating the market for the ukrainians over there and then now they're the, now they're with the banksters of ukraine and um uh well personally i think only good things can come of that <laughs> so 
Stellar hodlers. Bye. Oh, yeah. Good news. Good news. All right. Let's move on. Bye. What we got? Add eh, drop off. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Got you wrong, <laughs> Love you, wrong, Kaz. Love you, brother. brother. No one save you. Bye. Benjamin, connecting the dots. Love you, brother. brother. Bye. Radster holding down the insurgency in Eastern Europe. <laughs> Love with Zebra the Bang. Oh, and here's here's Misanthrope holding down the insurgency in Central Europe. Look, look. Love with Zebra the Bang. Uh, holding down the sleeper cells. Not time yet. Not time yet. <laughs> look, look. DP Entertainment. So, brother. Love with Zebra the Bang. Abundantly me. Love with Zebra the And the kid. Bang. Debra, hey Debra, love you, lady. See you, lady. Bang. <clears throat> I see you're always watching. You're always in the chat room. You never, you're never out here though. Anyway, look, look, Sunny B, spy lady, love you, lady. See you, lady. Bang. There he is, Grunchable with the with the proper glasses and shit. <laughs> Grunchable, Grunchable, love with see brother. Bang. Technically bullish, love with see brother and the laser eyes. Bang. Oh yeah. Laser eyes. <laughs> All right. Crunchable's back. Good. Oh, fucking whale. Look. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not, like, it's not my business what people put on their shit. All right. Anyways. Lorna all in dads. Look, look. She said, look, look. Fox sticks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm all in. Bang. That's what she did. That's how it does. That's how she be. That's how she get down. Lorna all in dads. Love you, girl. See you, girl. Bye. Oop, new follower. Oh, we talked about this guy yesterday. Oh, the life is hard guy. <laughs> life is hard. It's harder if you're stupid. <clears throat> All right, buddy. Love it. See you the bang. All right, let's get back to the Death Star. Bye. Welcome back. All right, so that was a quickie. This was a quickie show. Well, not much to talk about it. It's, it is what it is. So look, story number one. Cardano partners with lending platform Nexo. So... A uh, new partnership for Cardano gives it exposure uh, to this platform, this lending platform, Nexo. More users, um, potential users. Um, ah, just a good thing. You know, just a good thing. Like I said, uh, I, and it said at the bottom of the article there, uh, Hoskinson's been getting in a lot of shit the past, this week, this whole week. People are saying like, yo, dog, you said there were going to be thousands of D apps. You said there was going to be hundreds of this and that. <clears throat> and they haven't materialized and so um you know kind of like garlinghouse when he in 2019 he said he said yes we've got dozens of banks waiting to use this or sorry 2018 he said for 2000 he said yes in 2019 we have do dozens of banks waiting to use the xrp oh well not one bank does use it and that's three years later and so we'll see about cardano you guys know how i am yeah, I juggle my portfolio. This motherfucker's got to, what's in my portfolio has got to perform. Uh, when I mean perform, it means generate revenue. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying? And if you're not generating the adequate enough revenue, well, I'll just juggle your bitch ass out. You know what I mean? There's other things out here making money right now. Uh, you know, and I, there's still sort of time to get into them before you get priced out. And so, uh, you know, don't be afraid to juggle that portfolio. If you got something in there and it ain't working out, yeah, fucking toss that motherfucker i used to tell you guys you're like a sports owner a sports team owner yeah well like an nba team you've got a roster of i don't know what 22 guys yeah well and then you got your starting lineup and then you got the benchers yeah well if a motherfucker ain't producing bang you're gone yeah next year you get traded <laughs> or even in the middle of the year even in the middle of the year get out of here you daggone miscreant you're not performing and that's how I treat my portfolio, uh, sort of like a, like I'm a team owner. And so everything in my team has to produce. And at the adequate level in which uh, I expect, you know? I mean, I'm obviously reasonable. You know what I mean? I understand things take time to roll out and upgrades take time and onboardings take time. And stuff. You, know, you know, I'm not just a tyrant. But, uh, yeah, if something in my portfolio doesn't perform the way I want 
or if they take a direction I don't like, well, then, yeah, I sell that shit and I just put it in shit that is making money. And so uh, that's how it is in my portfolio. And so for me personally, I'm not telling you guys to do this or anything, but Cardano, my patience is wearing thin. I mean, I've told you here before, because they're scientists and shit, scientists take time to do stuff, right? Because they're not just a bunch of little crypto kids, you know, just, you know, trying to get, you know, stuff out there. They want it done right. And so um, uh, that's why you give something like Cardano a little bit more leeway, a little more time, you know, because they got a bunch of brains in there and those brains are heavy, right? Cardano Hoskinson, he's a mathematician. Three of the other guys are PhDs. So, you know, you, you can't run on little crypto kid time. You know, you got to run on scientist time. Scientists take time to do shit, right? <laughs> So, anyways, though, so for today, another thing for Cardano, exposure to the market, and uh, good for Cardano, good for Cardano hodlers, so, bang, there you go. India crypto regs, finance minister says that the bill is ready for the cabinet, and so, it's ready for the cabinet, um, and I like it, and that the reason, the reason uh, that I really like this bill is because, you see, they make the distinction, there's a difference between the wannabe money shit, Bitcoin, well, and even Bitcoin doesn't even count because Bitcoin is not owned by anyone. So Bitcoin's more of a commodity, like gold, right? No one owns gold. Gold is just there, right? If you dig it out of the ground, all right, well, that's your chunk of gold, buddy, right? Anyone can. You can go to the mountains around the side of your house right now and go dig up some gold if you want. <laughs> if you got gold in, if you got gold around where you live, right? It's it's no nobody owns it, right? You're allowed to just take it. And so that's what Bitcoin is. Whereas this other shit. All these stable coins, USDC, this DSC, this DDD, and, uh, you know, Zcash, Monero, want to be money, privately issued money. All right. That's a different thing. And so that's what I like about India. Well, about this bill in India is that they finally made the distinction, right? Because that's what they've been complaining about. They finally made the distinction between want to be money and real blockchain services providers. You know what I mean? Uh VeChain is not there to be money. It's there to help your supply chain, right? Uh, IOTA is not there to be money. It's there to help you build a smart city and, you know, Internet of Things and stuff like that. You know, uh, Chainlink is not there to be money. It's there to give your blockchain price feed, to bring off-chain data on-chain. And so there's a distinction between those that actually do something, benefit your country, and then these things that are just kind of these wannabe money things, right? And then, like I said, Bitcoin and Ethereum, are different because they're commodities, right? There's no company. There's no CEO of, Bi of Bitcoin. There's no CEO of Ethereum. They're just there, right? Ethereum and Bitcoin are just there, uh, you know, like water or air, you know, just, you know, you breathe it in, breathe it out, you know, it's just there, right? Air, it's good stuff, oxygen. <laughs> and so, and so that's what I like about that article there is that the, the bill that's been sent up to the cabinet um, is making that distinction. And so, like I said, I don't give a fuck if India bans all that. Ban all that wannabe money shit. Fuck all that shit. Stable cash, fucking stable coins, fucking Monero, Zcash, all that crap. I don't give a fuck. Ban all that. Look. What about the V-Chain? What about the IOTAs? Look, look, dog. These are viable companies. Uh, doing uh, good work that'll benefit your society and industry and blah, 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 right? And like I told you, and we read it here, e e uh, India already uses Ethereum on 19 of their seaports. Man, you know that? So they're actually using it. So and, I, so, and that's what I think is good. They're making the distinction. These things, they people call these things cryptocurrencies. They're not. They're not. Most of them are actual real companies just trying to do stuff, well, help you do stuff through their service, which is their blockchain, right? Whereas all that wannabe money crap, yeah, that's whatever, man. Fuck all that shit. That's a bunch of nonsense anyways. All right, so um, good news out of, wow. <laughs> we, have, we don't know if it's good news yet. It's good news in that, this bill has gone to the cabinet, 
now we've got to hear what the answer is. You know, uh, we have to hear, uh, you know, are they going to allow the digital assets or not? And so, um, so fingers crossed. Uh, that's what we've been waiting for for fucking three years. <laughs> and so you guys know it here. Like I tell you, why you care so much about India and China? Look, fuck stick. One in five people on earth are Chinese. One in five people on earth are Indian. That's 40% of Earth's population. Yeah, well, it's a little fucking important then, isn't it? If we're trying to get people to pump money in this space to drive up our coin, yeah, well, sure wouldn't hurt. <laughs> sure wouldn't hurt. And so that's why it's so important, and uh, that's why we're going to keep watching every fucking move, which we have been on this channel. All right, India. Come on now. Let's go. Back. Oh, well, one more thing about India, and that's the problem with India. Remember I told you about back in the dot-com bubble days, India didn't, uh, India was five years behind the rest of the world. It's like they don't like to adopt new technologies, like they're paranoid or something. I don't know what it is. And they were five years behind everyone. And then finally they got the internet. They were like, all right, all right, well, fine. You're all doing all right, I guess we have to. Yeah, remember that, remember that. All right, so India, bye. And then finally, Stellar SDF joins Association of Ukraine Banks. So usually, like I said, I don't give a fuck about some you know crypto company on this association or that association or this lobbying group or that lobbying group or blah, blah, blah. Because they regularly, they usually don't get shit done. They become just debate clubs. But the reason we're reading this one is because as we read yesterday, that one Ukraine bank is offering crypto services and as you can see, Ukraine is becoming, excuse me, is becoming digital asset friendly and, uh, well, is digital asset friendly. And so Stellar being on this thing, well, in the banking thing, in this banking association, Association of Ukraine Banks, well, you're part of the association and you're sitting there and you're going to provide consulting and everything. Well, you're going to consult them to use your Stellar network, aren't you? <laughs> so good for Stellar. Uh, potentially good and so that's why i read this one um because we see that in the ukraine they're already like i said yesterday we read the, that one bank is already unleashing and so uh ukraine looks friendly and also um we read that <clears throat> stellar has already been helping ukraine hold on let me read that again just so i can say this properly here what did it say Right. Uh, earlier this year, the SDF signed a memorandum of understanding with Ukraine's Ministry of Digital Transformation to create a virtual asset market. So, you know, Stellar, the Ukrainians are going to use Stellar to create a virtual asset market. So, well, obviously, they're going to fucking probably use you in their banking thing too, then, Dagon, if you're if they're you're helping them build their whole digital asset market. And so, um, great for Stellar. Great for Stellar. And uh, stellar hodlers. All right, so on that note, let's chill it and kill it. Bang, let's get you back to your wives and lives. Let's get to these NBA playoff games. Bang, I got to get out of here. It's, it's, it's 9.25. The game started at 9 o'clock. Get back there for the second quarter. So look, subscribe below, press the bell. You get an automatic notification when you do the show. Greatest show on earth. Greatest show. <laughs> In the multiverse. Look, my name is Shamar Clock. Love talking money. Bang, love talking crypto. Bye. This is the favorite time of my day. So thanks for having me in your home, and I'll see you all tomorrow. So look, subscribe. Uh, until then, subscribe here. Bang. Watch that video there. Bang. Greatest in the multiverse, and I'll see you all tomorrow. My name is Shamar Clark. Bang. Always watching our money, and bang. <laughs> money never sleeps. Neither does Shamari. I am always on duty. Bang. Yes. <laughs> Indeed, over and out.